What's up, family? Lizzo is the latest target of conservative ire after the Library of Congress allowed her to play dun, dun, dun. Slave owning President James Madison's crystal flute. Fam, they're mad, mad. Check out some of what they had to say. This is from Jenna Ellis. She got on TV and said that Lizzo was one of the most morbidly obese people in the world who constantly talks about being oppressed and she's a millionaire. Next up is Matt Walsh. This dude said that Lizzo playing James Madison flute was a form of racial retribution, according to the woke left. And I actually have no doubt that this is part of the reason why the Library of Congress facilitated this spectacle. But check this guy out. He goes even further. Greg Price said, the Library of Congress really took out a 200-year-old flute that belonged to James Madison just so Lizzo could twerk with it. They degrade our history and then call you racist if you actually value it. <laughs> Greg, I know you can't actually believe what you said. I really do believe when y'all be trying to act like things didn't really happen, y'all be trying to act like America had some type of moral compass all of this time. I think y'all be trolling because I know damn well you can't believe that and at the same time uh, be proud and know the full history of all that killing and subjugation that went on, all that colonialism that went on, all those hangings that went on, all of those beatings, all of that free labor, forced labor, that went on. You cannot, you cannot actually believe that Lizzo playing a flute is degrading your history. <laughs> if anything, Lizzo playing the flute of a slave owner who was the president of the United States dignifies your history. Now, this crystal flute was gifted to James Madison in 1813. Let's take a look at 1813, what was going on. Oh, our damn people was enslaved. That's what was going on. Man, these people are something else. When I heard that Lizzo played his flute, it was disturbing. But then I heard that the conservatives were mad. And then I chuckled a little. You know why? Because I love anything they hate, and I hate anything they love. That's right. And if they love that old ragged-ass flute, I hate it. That's right. They pick some of the worst things, the worst causes to be offended by. For people who always talk about how somebody else expresses their oppression. They always seem to talk from an oppressed standpoint. They always got to fight like they're the ones oppressed. It's like when they talk about welfare recipients, like they're not the biggest welfare recipients. See, welfare ain't just getting a check every month, you know, having the EBT card or whatever. It ain't just that. It's getting those big tax breaks. Yeah. It's getting an opportunity to get land when you deny it to other people based on their race. Yeah. And all those other opportunities. That's right. They always looking for free money, free stuff, but then get mad when somebody else try to take advantage of it. I'm watching you. 
I see y'all watching it. You ain't sliding with nothing over here. They mad because she played a slave owner's flute. If anybody should be mad, it should be the black congregation. Now, the flute was gifted to him because all I can think about is he had the most rusty ass, nasty, wet, slave owning, hateful lips on that flute. Yuck. And I don't care how many years have passed. What? Over 200 years. 200 nine years to be exact. I don't care how much time has passed. I still believe that that flute got rabies on it. You know what? What Lizzo should have did instead of playing the flute, just playing it, should have stuck it between her legs. No more talk. What the haters talking about?